Okay, I think our next talk is an online presentation. Ah, yeah, we're gonna jump over one of the one of the talks here. Um, <clears throat> so it's gonna be about it's actually. It's actually a similar system in a way that it helps novice players getting better at a, at, a, at a sport or gaining an advantage over maybe an experienced player. So I'm talking about ping pong here and how we could augment this um, to kind of like it, it's yeah curving a ball, having this, this edge that you get um, when you play against an opponent. And Tao will be presenting this one. So whenever yeah. you're ready, feel free to yeah. start the talk. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for your introduction. Okay, so hi, I'm Tao Morisaki. So I'm from the University of Tokyo, so Japan. So today I talk about the ultrasound driven cowboy in table of tennis. So human activity supports so via non-contact remote object manipulation. So this slide shows the abstract of my presentation. So in this study, so we try to augment the ability of a table of tennis player so using ultrasound. Uh, so there is no need to wear any devices for the for the user. So please see this video. As you can see, the moving ping pong ball can be curved by the using ultrasound in non-contact manner, and the ultrasound driven curve ball can cause the opponent's mistake. Okay, let's start talk from the introduction of my research. Uh, there's many attempts to augment the human ability, human physical ability utilizing the advanced technologies. So left figure shows that the power assist using robotic exoskeletons. A right figure shows that supporting to throw a ball using a handheld type robotic arm. And in these approaches, they use a half to wear or a grab a mechanical systems. Uh, there's another augmented human approach, which is a tool, a tool incorporated approaches. In, uh, in the approach, the researcher incorporates the actuator into a tool used for activity, for example, the ball or a pen is an example of the tool. Uh, by controlling the motion of the tool, the system can, the, the approach can support the user's action and the user's activity. Uh, by incorporating the actuator, there's no need to wear or grab the additional devices for the users. The left figure shows that is a good example for this concept. Uh, please see this video. In this video, as you can see, the user can control the trajectory of the ball, thrown ball by using a built-in drone, built-in marriage copter. Uh, right figure shows that the supporting drawing a picture in the system, the user, user use uh, pen uh, with the uh, built in uh, ball type actuator and the actuator controlling the motion of the pen. And the final user is a very help to uh, write the two dimensional drawing uh, picture. Uh, additionally, to this concept, we propose a new concept of the augment hu human augmentation in this study. So, actually, we propose a remotely manipulate the tool using a non contact force. So we adopt the non-contact force alternatively to the built-in actuator. For example, ultrasound, focus ultrasound, or, and so air floats. By using the non-contact force, so user not only need to wear any devices, and but also the process the tools. So in other words, the user can use a familiar normal tools. Uh, from these features, we believe that uh, these concepts uh, naturally augment the human ability. And as a proof of concept of system, uh, we developed the ultrasound driven cowbo system for the table of tennis player. The system can curve the moving ping pong ball trajectory by using a non contact ultrasound force. And in the system, the player can shoot the cowbo regardless of their physical ability. And the curve timing is also controllable. Uh, of course, uh, there's uh, no need to process the ping pong ball. The user can use the on, uh, only normal ping pong ball. Uh, the player can play this game like a normal table of tennis. Is this so hitting a smash strongly? Uh, through evaluation of the curve ball system, we finally explore the feasibility of the proposed concept. So we 
in this uh, oh, in the system, so we adapt the uh, focused ultrasound as a non-contact force presenter. And so we please see this video. As you can see, so this device is named the phase array, and the phase array creates a single point focus, and the ultrasound focus is uh, pushed on the surface of the water in non-contact manner. And the spatial resolution of the this of the uh, presentable host distribution is very high, one centimeter, one cubic centimeter, and its propagation speed of the force is very high. It's actually uh, sound velocity. And also, the focus position can be controlled by software. So it's a, it's a future is very suitable for the open human system. And next, we introduce uh, important related works, which is the trajectory change by ultrasound. So we previously developed the system so curbing the mo moving ping pong ball using ultrasound, but it's have a great uh, uh, it has a great uh, limitation for augmented human. Uh, for example, the curving direction is only left, and the curve timing is not controllable from this. So I so we concluded that they are not enough to uh, it's a system is not enough to human augmentation system. Moreover, uh, in the previous study, there's no evaluation to whether the system can support player. Therefore, so in this study, so we not only develop the system, carbon system, so but also we conduct the user study to evaluate the system. Firstly, we conducted the actual table things match with a carbon system. So secondly, we count we counted the miss we counted the miss of the opponent's player caused by the ultrasound or even cardboard to continually evaluate the performance of the system. Uh, so uh, from this result, the opponent's missing, uh, we confirmed that the opponent's miss increased the three times. And the, so we conclude that our system can enhance the ability of the uh, table tennis player. Okay, so next we introduce my uh, the system configuration of the, our, our, uh, our system and the evaluation in detail. This is a system configuration in the opponent's player side. The system consists of the airborne ultrasound phase array and the two high speed cameras. The ultrasound phase array is used to apply force to a pinpoint board, and the stereo high speed camera used to detect the uh, position of a pinpoint board. This is the flow of the detection pinpoint board in three dimensional position. First, the each camera uh, take a photo, and the system detects the two-dimensional position of a pinpoint ball using a color binary filter. So finally, the system calculates the three-dimensional position of it by triangulating. Uh, this slide shows the configuration at the player side. So player side means uh, having a, a ultrasound. Uh, the player side means a person who can uh, who can shoot the ultrasound driven cowboy. So the player has a racket shaped controller is uh, used to drive phase array units. And this side shows the, uh, the detail function of the controller. The function to, uh, the controller is to drive phase array is selectively. For example, when pressing the Y button, the left face array was driven, and the pinpoint ball tra trajectory is moved uh, curved to right. And when pressing the A button, the right face array was driven, and so drove, and the pinpoint ball trajectory is curved to left. This video shows the actual motion of the controller. As I said, when pushing the button, the ultrasound force is presented to the pinpoint board. Okay, next, we will show the user study table tennis match with ultrasound driven cardboard system. In the study, so we uh, we evaluate whether the player use whether the player using the cardboard is upper hand or not. So in the Expand the situation to one opponent's player has a no, uh, normal uh, table tennis rackets, and the uh, 
Cowboy user has a controller. So this video shows the actual, uh, the actual match with using the Cowboy system. Please note that the user's view, as you can see, the Cowboy and the, the player can choose the Cowboy. And the Cowboy can cause the mistake of the opponent's player, like this. And like this. It's a procedure. The three pairs are participated in the experiment. So each player uses the cowboy system once, and the player who gets a five points wins the match. And so for comparison, we also conducted a match without the cowboy. And after the match to evaluate the system, all player commented freely, so answer the interview. This is the result of the evaluation. So uh, from this uh, comment, uh, from, from the participant's comment, we considered that the ultrasound cowboy user has upper hand. Actually, so user, uh, the participants commented that the cowboy is difficult to return as the hit. And the participants also reported there is a miss induced by the cowboy clearly. And in this slide, we focus on the one of the example, as a one of the examples, so match between P1 and a patch band one and patch band two. In this case, the cowboy supported P uh, patch band two clearly. So patch band two won when using the cowboy, but he lost the game when did not use the cowboy. And also the patch band one commented that I could not receive the cowboy well. But so please see this uh, yellow part. Uh, however, so there, uh, the participant, uh, there is one case the cowboy cannot uh, greatly support the participant one. The participant use the cowboy but lost the game. And the participant one said that uh, I forced myself to use cowboy but I failed it. So here we discuss this problem. So the problem is caused by the camera shooting range is very narrow. This range is, uh, uh, when the uh, uh, camera range is narrow, it's a very narrow, the, uh, it is very difficult. So it causes difficulty to use the uh, cowboy. Therefore, in the future, we change the camera placement to improve the shooting range. For example, so we use additionally camera or the uh, over, we place the uh, high-speed camera to the over all the, over all the uh, user. Finally, we introduce the user study to quantitative evaluation of the miss rates. The purpose is to quantitatively evaluate the augmentable tennis player's skill. To evaluate, we count the opponent's player's mistake. And for reproductivity, we use a ball dispenser. The player, uh, returns to a ball to the target area R and right, uh, right and left. The target is pre-specified by us. Five curb L and five curb right and five straight ball was thrown in random order. This is a video of the actual task. So you can see ball thrown and the participant returned to the target area. But when the ball curved by the sound, the task was missed out of the area. Moreover, out of the table is also missed. This slide shows the result of the evaluation. Uh, from the evaluation, we concluded that the cowboy significantly increased the miss rate of the opponent's player. Uh, there are two type of miss out of the table and the out of the target range. And so right figure shows that the miss rate the miss rate including the out of the table and the target range. So when using, so the, uh, this graph clearly shows that when using the cowboy randomly, the mistake increased three times. So finally, we summarized my presentation and we'll conclude this study. In this study, so we propose that uh, new, new augmented human concept, which is a uh, human augmentation to be a non-contact object manipulation. Uh, to, evaluate, uh, to evaluate feasibility of this concept, we developed the ultrasound driven cowboy system. And in the user study, we evaluate the performance of the uh, cowboy system. 
for three, so we, con we uh, quality uh, quantitatively confirmed that the cow ball increased the difficulty to receive. And so we also uh, quantitatively confirmed that the miss rate of the opponent's player increased three times. So from this result, uh, we concluded that the player's ability can be enhanced by the uh, ultrasound driven cowboy system which we developed. And we also confirmed that our proposed concept is feasible. Okay. Uh, that, uh, this is the end of the, my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Tao, for your talk. This seems like a very cool system. Um, <laughs> I have one question on a bit of a technicality aspect there. Um, so if I got this right, the, the ultrasound just blows away, uh, blows away the ball and it, it does a curve, right? Um, and what I know is like from ping pong that experienced player, players, they use spin. So they like, they swivel around the ball and then the ball gets a spin. And that in the end, if the ball then hits the plate, just results in a curve um yeah, yeah, yeah. how is that different yeah, from yeah. what yeah what your system does i'm thinking about a system where you basically can learn to get better at ping pong by playing against a player that has this has this has your system would that work or would that be uh different from when a very experienced player spins the ball uh, so actually, so um, uh, uh, maybe your question is about the uh, difference from the uh, actual cover ball uh, when he did buy the actual ping pong or, or, or uh, put a table tennis player. It, uh, yes, actually, uh, the, my, uh, it's a cover ball uh, conducted by our present proposed system is not realistic. So, but so we aim to, so aim to like a super, like a superhuman or as a, a, a drone in a, as a comic. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, so they say you know about the, in Japanese, the very, uh, very famous comic, the uh, Captain Tsubasa, and so uh, the many, many sports are uh, like, uh, many, many sports comics. And so in comics, uh, the uh, drawings are very super short. Yes, and so we, it, uh, through this system, we, we try to realize a superhuman like uh, uh, augment uh, the scale beyond the uh, normal human. This is the uh, purpose of this study. And so, yes, actually, so differences is uh, one of the problem, and but so this uh, is a, our scope is uh, this, like a super, enables a human, a superhuman, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so augmenting the human rather than uh, assisting in learning. Very cool. Um, are there any questions from the physical audience? There's an online question. So I'm just going to read this out. Maybe a related question. Since the theory of the curveball differs from the real curveballs, probably what I just said, how do you think experienced players will adapt to it? Curious whether a professional can adapt and hit the ball back. Right. So maybe I rephrase this a bit in a way. Um, do you think that the, an experienced player could also learn mm. how the system uh, changes the ball trajectory uh, and adapt mm. to it? Ah, uh, adaptation. Yeah, actually, adaptation is uh one of the problem for this system. So, yes, actually, adaptation is as uh, uh, yes, actually, there's a, a adaptation for this system and the participants. So and so, it is cannot show in this uh this right. So, but so the uh, actually, so the driving sound is a uh, can hear and the participants. And so the participants so notice the uh, curve timing when by hearing the driving noise. And so sometimes the participants so the notice uh, all this trajectory will be curved. Actually, it is a problem. Uh, but so when adapt when uh, causing uh, when causing uh, uh, when doing uh, when adapting the systems of, of the potential player. Opponent's player, even when this timing, the opponent's player take, ha, take a miss. So, uh, and so it's a very in interesting. So, uh, I think it's a very interesting point. So, in the future, where uh, we evaluate the when, when the opponent's player adapt to this system, and so when 
and the, how it's how the effect size of the adaptation for the system for throwing the long time evaluation. Yeah, it's my answer for this. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Here, you would need to like listen to the sound of the ultra uh, mm. sonic device. And in a real play, I, I think they just judge based on the mo movement that the player makes if there's spin or not. Thank you so much. I don't see any further questions in the audience and we're a bit short on time. Thank you again, Tao, for your engaging talk. Yeah, thank you for listening.